cause. So everything that you would see karma, it's just cause and effect, right? Cause, effect, cause, effect. So I'm the cause, the mirror is the effect. Everyone in my life is the effect of a cause. Everyone, every situation. There is nothing that ego can debate that isn't you. Because in your universe, you're the only one playing your game in your universe. And again, if we're playing in your universe, we have to behave the way you expect us to on some level. So we don't have free will in your universe. I may have free will in my universe if I'm connected to my higher self. But if my ego is driving the car, I do not have free will. I do not. I can drive anywhere I want in my own jail cell. But I cannot go anywhere new unless higher self is driving the physical body. Because your body is the Merkaba. Your body is the spacecraft. Your body is the only thing that's not time traveling 24 hours a day. You're time traveling 24 hours a day. Every time you go to a past memory, you're time traveling. Every time you go into a future memory, you're time traveling. The only thing that doesn't go with you is your physical body. But it will. <laughs> and this is what we're training for, because when you enter the fifth dimension, you're preparing for the sixth dimension where you can. Your body will become so lucid and so plasma-like that it will be able to go into these places without the Merkaba, without the, the transformational, uh, the, the spaceship, the spacecraft. But what we're going to do is we're literally going to use time travel in order to get the body into the present moment. Because what happens is when you are, anytime you recall a memory, there is a part of you stuck there. Now, not all of it is trauma. There are some moments that you could be stuck somewhere that are really joyful that you were like, I have to hold on to this. You know, some people call it like the glory days. And then it's like you get around them and all they do is talk about their high school days. Because that, that is where they left their consciousness. Maybe right after that, they had to get married and they decided their life was over. Okay. Come to the farm towns. You see a lot of that here. The glory days, right? Nothing after high school except bald hair and a beer belly. So, but that's an idea of where someone could get left behind in joy. Because they knew oh, this is the end of an era or this is the end of my college days. Now I have to grow up. And they decided that they weren't going to take all of themselves with them. So they listen to the same music they did in high school and they have the same hairstyle. You've seen these people that have literally left themselves in their highlight reel and they they don't want to leave. Now, probably what we've done since we're very progressive, expansive beings is that we've probably not done that because we're like the best days of our life haven't even happened yet. We're excited to be in this future present moment. But those moments where we had shock and betrayal and that fight, flight, freeze energy, then a part of us is still in those places. But we cannot use my old time travel work because it. It, it's a third dimensional formula. We're going to use more of past, present, future time travel for you to be able to not only focus on the trauma. What I noticed when I was kind of going through YouTube, I just wanted to see how balanced the work is. And it was either all about the trauma or it was all about the infinite universe. There was nothing really about well, how do I experience future moments and, and past moments simultaneously? So so I, I decided that what we were going to do today, and I think St. Germain is going to lead this, is we're going to, we're going to remind you, because you all know how to do this, is how to time travel with your past, present, future self to bring you into the present moment, to get basically get all the pieces back on the yellow brick road. That's what we're wanting to do. Because again, you know, there's no Oz up there. It's you. It's your higher self. Like, where you been? It's that's you. So we want to make sure that there's a rule for fifth density, no man left behind. You cannot leave fragmented parts of yourself in 3D because then they will vibrate 3D. And so although you may have more expansive awareness, you'll still be in 3D. Or at least that part of you will be. And so usually the things that you want the most are going to be locked in some trauma the things that you want to create the most they're locked somewhere in a trauma trauma bond somewhere and they are unable to let go for whatever reason 
to create that flow state. So I will tell you, this is how you can determine or measure how much of you is in the present moment right now with you. Is the level of consideration that you have of what other people think of you. So if I was gonna say on a scale from one to 10, how much do you care about how what people think of you? If it's a 10, you still have lots of parts in your past that are missing, lots. You still have lots of fragments, okay? If it's like, mm, sometimes I care, sometimes I don't, okay? Maybe it's a seven. You're like, oh, I don't ever even think if anybody's ever looking at me, okay? That's, that's how you're going to know where your integration is. If you can literally get up and act and be with no consideration of what anyone is thinking of you, you are whole. And that's where we're getting to. The best part about it is, is you'll be acting in alignment. So it's not like you're going to be acting crazy. You're going to be in alignment and it's always going to be a win-win situation. Because you being authentic isn't going to trigger this new reality you're creating. It's going to inspire it. It's going to allow it. So the more that you understand you, the more you will be understood. The more that you are integrated, the less you'll be aware. Have you ever like walked down the street and been so hyper aware that you think everyone's looking at you? Okay. That means that you are not you. You are projecting into every single person driving by, which means I don't feel safe in the present moment. So this is a good measurement for where you are. And it doesn't matter where you are. You are where you are. And you can close this gap very quickly. But you are going to have to focus on the embodiment of the Trinity all throughout the day. Like I said in the, in the live I did the other day is we can no longer keep spiritual practices away from real life we've got to start working at, in spiritual reality practices in the moment in the moment in the moment because it's in the moment where the trauma says here i am okay and if i say oh i have a feeling but i don't want to be judged for this then what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it back into my body and maybe process it later but it might go into a different place okay it might go from one chakra to the next Depending on where you are, you might try to pull it up later and it's not there. So if there are things that we can do in the present moment, regardless who's, who's around, then what we, what we can do is we can keep walking forward and we're just magnetizing all of our fractures in instead of what we were doing is running away from everything. OK, and then, you know, getting blindsided and getting betrayed and getting attacked, because, again, you cannot outrun yourself. Any fracture you have is going to project itself in the mirror of your reality. Forever. <laughs> and so it's that's not going to change because this is a holographic universe. So everything you put out is what you're going to get back is the rule of mirroring and the, the boomerang effect. So again, you might create something now and not get a backlash today. But let's say then you post your class online and then all of a sudden people start attacking you and you're like, what did I do? I was standing in my truth. I was being authentic. Exactly. Because I have a belief that when I'm authentic, I get attacked. So you weren't getting attacked when you weren't being authentic. You're going to get attacked when you were authentic. And you're going to be aware of, oh, I'm in the present moment being authentic. and I'm getting attacked. My opportunity. This is my opportunity to neutralize this fracture right here now. And you cannot fix a fracture without all three parts of you. I've learned this the hard way. You need body, mind, soul all looking at each other in order for it to work. Otherwise, let's say I'm just doing body work. Right? I'm doing exercise, but my mind is like wondering what I, I got laundry and I'm, I'm like, I'm my thoughts, my feelings, you know, are somewhere way over here, but I'm going through the motions. I'm working out or I'm eating really healthy food that's organic, but I'm, I'm worried about, you know, the bills. Okay. So you see how you're, re you're staying constantly in a time travel position if you aren't present all the time. You're, you're, part of you is always time traveling if you're not 100% holistically present in the moment, which none of us know how to do until you practice it. 
because again, the last time you were whole, remember like you had to try to figure out how to get that three month old fist in your mouth. It took every ounce of concentration you had focus and you were thinking, you're willing it to your like hand come to my face. It was using all of you and then visually did it. But see, again, once this kind of motor skill starts to happen and then we start to go out into the world and we start to get fractured, right? Well, then we actually forget how to do things in unity of self. And this is why you get scared to be alone. This is why you can experience the feeling of being alone. This is why you're worried about being alone. This is why you worry about not having money because money is a part of you. So what we want to do today is we want to utilize the law of magnetism, the law of polarity, okay, and the law of gender and to zero point this energy in by basically calling it back to you because you're either going to walk into the trigger, the trigger is going to come get you, right? Or you're going to get it on the back end of the loop if you're not ready to deal with it. But if you stay ready, then you don't have to get ready. So what I want to do is I want to show, or he wants to show you how to stay ready and and live in like time travel on purpose instead of you've probably thought about the future already in the session you've probably already thought about the past in the session which means you haven't been present all the way yet the average attention span is three seconds now for adults because it's not safe to be in the present moment that's where the feels are that's where my failure is sitting. That's where my unpaid bills are. That's where that conflict is that I have to go into. That's where my body doesn't feel good. So I don't want to be in the present moment. But when you realize is that the reason why you don't want to be in the present moment is you may just not know what tool to use in the present moment. So if we can have some tools that are dedicated for this intervention and for this, this reconciliation for this like spiritual surgery because it's a fracture if you think about what a fracture is it's almost like when a bone breaks into a whole bunch of pieces and then it gets like lodged in your skin and it's just like there's nothing you can do about it you can't bandage it up you can't brace it and so it literally just has to kind of regrow but all those fractures like stay in your body until they are dissolved that's why we call it a soul fracture okay because it's yours. It's still going to be in your field, even if it broke apart from you. And because it's going to stay in the vibration of the exact trauma, that trauma is going to continue to manifest in every person, place, or thing until it dissolves. Okay? So let's get to the point of the play. Because I know this is like, oh, we're going to do time travel. and But it's fun. Okay? You have so much multidimensional power here. But because you have so much multidimensional power, you're using it to stay out of the present moment where the flow state is. The flow state will only ever be in the present moment. And the analogy we gave was like the surfing. You know, you turn your back on a wave, you're going to miss it. You think about the last set of waves, you're not going to see this set of waves. You think about the waves that are coming in 10 minutes, you're going to get hit by a wave that just happened. So in surfing, you have to be in the present moment. Otherwise, you could die mm. or have so much fun. But it's it's your call. Both, both perspectives is ultra presence. And if you decide, if your intention today is that I'm going to finish this journey, at least this part of the journey, so I can begin my happily ever after. Because notice when we have these movies, it's like, and they lived happily ever after. But you never see Right? You never see, like, what was your life like when it was just perfect? We don't see that. We see the conflict, and then we get to the end. And so this is where we get to make it up. But that's that's the beginning. So the end of this journey is the beginning of your real life, of where you get to be a child and taking care of the universe based on your own vibration, where you get to see the mirrors of yourself in multiple millions of different ways that you actually love. So it's a totally different reality, but you're going to have to face the mirror and use the mirror properly.
to find the pieces of yourself. Okay. So the way I think he's going to show you guys how to do it is he's going to show you how to go past, present, future time travel, but not based on regular Imagineering that we've been doing where it's go to a, a future place. He's going to use feelings. Okay. Because the way that body, mind, soul talk to each other is through the feeling state, not through the mental image only. Okay. Oh, the mental image only is just one, it, it's just one way of communication. But the way that mind, body, and soul communicate together is feeling. Feeling is different than emotion. Okay. We'll explain it. I'll have him explain that properly to you. But the feeling is going to be how you're going to do the surgery. Right. So it's like when you're looking for your glasses on the floor with no eyes, you're going to have to feel your way there and feeling your way into the past, feeling your way into the present or into the future from the present moment. OK, so that is that little intro. We're going to let him come in and he's going to show you how to do this. All right. So we are recording.